Hello first graders, welcome to our vision video. Before we starting our real math, we're just having fun. We um, learning and revising some of the information we had before, in case you forget it. So please, for today we need to use our crayons. So make sure you have your crayons and let's start. All right, starting by one attribute. Attribute is like uh, features like something uh, that you, that's common between the, um, the object that you're gonna sort. So for example, name for this lesson or for le this activity will be name the color of the toys in group. So we'll be uh, sorting the objects by colors. So name the color of the toys in the group. This is a group, so what's the color? Green. Second part, then circle the toy that belongs in the group. So as you see, I have lots of toys here, but I'm looking for only green toy because I'm sorting by colors. So first one, green. I saw the bowling ball green, so I'm circling the bowling ball. All right, second one, what color this? Purple, so I'm looking for purple color, bluish purpley, and circle. Brown, yes. Red, very good. So now you're sorting by color, all right? Right. Let's uh, let's see inside first. All right. Picture graphs. Don't worry. We will learn a lot about this. It's just plain information. Just getting ready. All right. Color a picture on the graph for each color of apple. So that means you have kind of apples. You have yellow, and we have red. What are we gonna do? You're gonna count how many yellow. And you're gonna color the same amount you counted here yellow. We'll do the same for the red apples. You count and then you see how many and then you color. So let's do this together. I'll get my yellow crayons and my red crayons ready and let's count. Start with the yellow. One, two, three, four. So I have four yellow apples. I need to color four yellow apples. I don't wanna mix up, I don't wanna make a mistake. So when I color, I would be counting in my head, but I'm gonna say a bit loud so you can hear me. I'm gonna color one, two, three. I remember I need to count only four and four, so I have four yellow apples. I might get my green to color my fresh leaf for the apple green. So I have now four yellow apples. Awesome, let's count your red apples. Here's my pencil. One, two, three, four, five. I like use, to use my pencil and make a mark on a picture. So I know that if I have bigger pictures with more items or objects to count, I don't miss one of my pictures. So I know that I have five apples. I'm gonna count, color my apples. One, two, three. I know you would do a better job than me. Four, five, awesome. Okay, let's color my leaves green, make my picture more colorful. Okay, so this is my first question. Color picture on the graph for each color of apple. You count and you color. You had four yellow, I color four yellow. I had five red apples, I color five red apples. Awesome. Now, circle your answer. Are there more red 
or yellow apple we have more red or more yellow apples see when you have graph and colored it's easy you don't even need to count I look and I I colored more red so there are more red apples right so you're gonna circle the red apple okay how many more so I know that there are more red apples but how many more red apples than the yellow apples how many only one right so I'm gonna circle one awesome this is another activity but this time instead of you having picture like here instead of you having picture like here and you count it you have it in bar we call this a bar so what are you gonna do you're gonna color a box on the graph for each board so you have red and you have blue you do the same way you did here count how many red boards so one two three four five that's mean you need to color five bucks all right how many blue one two three four i didn't miss any so four blue balls so you're gonna color four square all right and then you're gonna answer your question check your answer are there fewer red or blue ball which one have less fewer so when you color this it would be easy for you to see which one is less or fewer so you're gonna circle it if it's less blue you're gonna circle the blue board if it's fewer or less red boards you're gonna circle the red board picture and then you're gonna answer the second part how many fewer so how many the choice you had fewer is it one board fewer or two boards fewer okay so that will be yours remember with the apples we colored more how many more apple but here fewer means less now let's turn the page same and different all right mark an X on the fruit that is different and then they show you the first example so I have watermelon, I have strawberry, and I have watermelon. So this is a different one. So you X this one. This is so easy. You have orange, pineapple, pineapple. Which one is different? Got it. Number three, you have banana, banana, and pear. Which one is different? I know you got it. And number four, you have grapes, apple, and grapes. Which one is different? You're going to put an X. Same like the example you have. On the top. All right, that's it for today, first graders. I'll, let you, I'll leave you with activity to finish and to have fun. All right, bye bye.